Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiterter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. Now, I'm actually starting off this procedure with our newly developed Waxscape. However, I do revert to the Endoscape uh, shortly, um, in about a minute's time, I think. And this may be, this procedure, this piece of wax that I removed in a singular piece, may be the largest documented piece of earwax that has been removed, or at least documented um, uh, and removed. Uh, previously, my record was 2.5 centimetres in length, and this one actually came in at slightly longer than that, between, um, I'd say, 2.6 centimetres, maybe 2.7. And just to give you some perspective about that measurement now, the average length of an adult's ear canal is 2.6 centimetres. Of course, there's a range. You have some people that are below average, you have a shorter ear canal, and others you have a slightly longer than average ear canal. And, but when it's 2.6 centimetres, this is extending right from the entrance all the way to um, the patient's eardrum. And you can see that the the lateral part of this wax plug, it's right near the entrance because you can see these hairs that we're just going through right now. So I tried uh, using uh, a bit of micro suction, uh, I reverted to the hook, and at this stage at least anyway, the hook just dissected through the wax plug, but uh, in the end, it was actually the, the, wax, um, the ear hook that I used to remove the wax. So this is the moment I reverted to um, the endoscope. So I'm just going back in with the micro suction probe and I'm just at the, uh, the posterior canal walls, so the back part, but right near the entrance, and unfortunately that's where the hairs are, you can't avoid that. Um, so the, hence why it's slightly, um, I wouldn't say obscure in the view, but you can just see there's like little whiskers, and they are slightly in view. So I'm just trying to lift this, elevate this off the, the canal wall, and you, there's a lot of keratin in it, 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 that's um, making up this wax plug because of the glossy appearance. When you've got a glossy, shiny, uh, texture and appearance of wax it, either it's not wax it's dead skin or it's wax but with a higher concentration of dead skin now 60% of earwax is actually dead skin so I would say this is probably more 80% uh, this wax plug so I'm just trying to bring this through but I can feel some resistance you can see I've got a suction grip and I'm trying to bring the sucker back out of the ear and trying to bring the wax plug with it but it is lodged and just going to the front part of the ear canal there and these little wriggle um, motions can help. They can help detach the wax from the canal and loosen it. So again, just near the entrance, we can just see the hairs. And I'm not sure if it's at this stage I'm going to use the hook, but we shall see. Or if I'm going to have another attempt with micro suction. Yeah, so I'm just going to just going back in with the micro suction tip, just at the bottom of the ear canal. So as I'm removing this wax, I'm also using the endoscope to stretch the ear open. Um, the entrance is slightly narrow. So the endoscope, this is the patient's right ear, by the way. So the endoscope is going into the ear and I'm pushing it to the left, trying to open up the ear canal and keep it ajar. And that enables me to insert the instrument. So I think this is the moment I, I managed to remove it. So I'm just using the hook again, gliding as deep as I can, rotating the hook and there we are, Eureka. It came out in one single piece. You can see how glossy the the surface of this plug is. And you can see some fresh dead keratin there, the white um, attached skin on the wax plug. And you can see the curvature, it kind of curls around to the right. That's the patient's eardrum, it's intact. So this is the still image. And I think it's just measuring 2.7 centimeters. You can see it takes on uh, almost a cigar appearance. Um, and it's quite a dark piece, it's, it has been there for a while and you can just see on the surface some of the fresh whiter dead skin which is a fresher skin that's just dyed and shedded and in the core it's a lot darker as it's oxidised. Well I hope you enjoyed that video guys and take care, keep well and speak to you all soon. Thank you, bye.